You know, the salt train for Stellar Blade just continues. Pissed off journalists just don't want anything to do with this game, but they're going to tell you that you're such a bigot or a sexist, or you should go just find a prawn game instead. That's right, Stellar Blade's outfits have caused the massive meltdowns from Kutaku. How to get Stellar Blade's new, very revealing outfits. Just when you thought you've seen enough of Eve, now you can almost see all of her. Oh hey, there's new cute attire for Eve in Stellar Blade thanks to version 1003. And yep, adults on the internet are reacting totally healthy, productive, and in a mature way. This sounds normal, right? Well, no, that's not effing true at all. As expected, some people are thrilled to see more digital nudity. Apparently the picture below me is nude. That, that, that's what Kotaku is saying. That's nude below me. That, that's not, apparently. While others are stamping their feet, upset at shift up, hasn't given them what they wanted, which is uh, free speech and digital tits. Yeah, you know porn exists, right? Yeah, we do. We also know video games aren't real and they're there for entertainment. And a video game like Stellar Blade is an adult entertainment game that's made for adults to play in a much more relaxed atmosphere. Oh my God, heaven forbid we have a scantily clad Eve femme fatale running around a game and doing women empowering things in a video game where are her organs right am i right is that where this goes oh my god anyway should you want to grab these revealing outfits or try the other ones which in my opinion are far more tasteful cute and sexy read on that's where we are today remember when kutaku had to produce game guides well i guess they're trying to make a game guide but they're not liking it and they're completely melting down over it. Buy the new outfits from Roxanne and Zion. When you fire up Stellar Blade after updating, you will see you notice two new outfits and a new feature that allows you to remain locked to an enemy after firing at them from Eve's drone gun thingamajig. While Kanuchi and Black Kanuchi, which are some of the rather coot nano threads, honestly simply need to be crafted at the repair console, but the more revealing and controversial, it's controversial now to wear something that's this appealing. Yeah, because you know, red carpet events happen. The 12 sexiest red carpet address. This is from 2016. Quick Google search. You, you, you know, it's very much what we see with Stellar Blade. So why is this such a controversy? Apparently this is controversial to wear something like this in a video game. You know, this is Kutako, the same, this isn't Alyssa McConte, you know, because uh, otherwise you'd have to go sub to her OnlyFans, but this is Kutako, someone else at Kutaku getting very upset over it. It's absolutely delicious to see how pissed off Kutaku is over these outfits. Oh, you know, and it doesn't stop there they put it up on twitter and of course the top one that they get here baldur's gate three players now speed running sex uh speedrunner may shows us how to skip all the boring parts and get straight to the hot stuff oh straight to the hot stuff that's not controversial that's hot it's something that is a matter of the game that you can really do it doesn't matter how large the game like baldur's gate 3 is there is always folks who will dare to ask how quickly can i get through this but fans are turning another bold question how quickly can i get laid because you know that's that's not controversial in gaming at all <laughs> right you you always talk about the the great last of us you Y'all know movies exist, right? Hell, The Last of Us show exists, so why play the games? Am I right? It's absolutely where we are with Kotaku. The salt is real. Their journalistic integrity is 404. And if you don't know what that means, go look up 404. But of course, that's not it all. They also put up on the same day another article about the free Stellar Blade petition. Apparently, we couldn't figure out if the outfits were sexy enough. The manufactured controversy around censorship of the PS5 exclusive continues to unravel. 
there was censorship when they said there would be none. That's not manufactured controversy. It is fact. It is known. It is something that happened. Stellar Blade is an excellent sci-fi action game that a small, ill-defined number of unhinged gamers have latched onto the latest front in a made-up culture war on boobies. After petitioning the studio behind the PlayStation 5 exclusive to free the game from unsensinated claims of censorship, they put up a post saying it wouldn't be censored, and it was. They removed gore, and they, put, they covered up the outfits. It was censored. Some of them are declaring victory now the new patch has added additional sexy costumes, but not everyone is satisfied. Well, part of that, though, those new outfits... They're new IPs, and one theory was that the old outfits, why they are not going to uncensor them is IP issues, copyright issues over them, because now they own the digital as that, and then to change it, I don't buy that, but ultimately they should uncensor them, or at least put a toggle switch in there. If you put a toggle switch in there, everyone wins. I, a May 24th update to celebrate brings the boss rush mode, which we've gone over that. But of course, this was also posted to Twitter and you can just take a look at the comments as well. What's wrong Kotaku, coping too hard there? Or are you just trying to get out ratioed? Giga Bear here, nothing will ensure unity among gamers faster than game journals trying to drive a wedge. Kotaku is fuming over Stellar Blade and I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. They've got to write those game guides somehow. So I guess through the game guides, they're going to tell us how bad the game is or how bad we are for playing the game. Or I guess whatever. Everyone likes the game of Stellar Blade. I wish it was out on PC. Rumors are still floating around. It may come out on PC at some time in the near future. This will be a fun game to see and play in the future. Anyway, I've been your Prog Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.